been a good day today. We've accomplished a fair deal. I didn't bother filming the work as I progressed because you've already seen me do it. It's just a repeat of what I've done before. So I have successfully drilled the anchor rollers for the bowsprit. Bowsprit I've put to the side, but uh, let me show you. There's my epoxy filled and drilled, drilled holes for the anchor rollers. And I drilled and filled the holes that hold the end fitting in place for the bowsprit. And I epoxied, I epoxied the holes that I cut because that was basically raw laminate exposed. So I've just painted some epoxy in all of those. I'll have to clean up the overspill later, but that's a dub for another day. In the meantime, it's time for me to clean up, enjoy my evening, get refreshed for another full day tomorrow. So. Welcome to my nightmare. No, actually, this is my pleasure and my joy. It's not my nightmare at all. But today is day one of two weeks of vacation that I've took to go hard on getting the boat back into shape. My goal for this two weeks is to have the boat at least ready to go back in the water. Maybe not sailable, because I have to get sails and uh, wire rigging, standing rigging, and so on, but at least to the point where I can put it back in the water. So this is day one, as I said, and the project that's holding all the other projects up is the Seacocks. So first project to get out of the way is the Seacocks. So enough yammering, come and see what I'm doing. Welcome back to the head. I have uh, done a little bit of surgery with my fine tool here. I don't know if you can see it from up there, but I had to cut away some of the cedar ceiling in order to get the backing plate over the through hull. And I've done that quite successfully. So that one fits. And now I'm going to drill the holes out. But first, I'm going to put the uh, flange on just to make sure it's aligned correctly. God bless.